Patrick McNeil back here with you at the intermission. And time now to hear from Cape Breton Eagles rookie defenseman Zach Welsh. Zach, what are your thoughts on the season thus far for yourself and for your Eagles team? To date, it's been great, I think, in all aspects, both myself and the team. We've definitely improved uh, on the ice, no question. I think just as the games go on here, for myself, just experience in the league and gaining more confidence. And I think it's the same thing with our team as well. We have a young team. As the games go on here and we keep playing, I think we're improving tons. We've seen, obviously, a lot of Halifax and Charlottetown, and I noticed you seem to be getting more physically involved in the games as of late. Is that a byproduct of the rivalries growing, or is that more you developing physically as a player? But I'd have to say it's a bit of both. My game is to be physical on the defensive zone, and I'm going to play hard, but no question, when you see the same team on a regular basis, it gets a bit chippy. Definitely not making any friends out there, but that's all fun and we love it. It's a good challenge and as it is, we're a physical team. I'm just that kind of player. It's fun nonetheless. You are no stranger to watching the QMJHL because your brother Nick played with Shawinigan and Moncton and your brother Matt played with the Charlottetown Islanders. How much did you get to go to those rinks growing up? Tons. I didn't get to go up to Shawinigan a whole lot. Been up there a few times. Got to watch him play in the President's Cup Final, which is pretty cool, but I'm no stranger to East Link Center and PEI been over there a lot just playing in there this year which is pretty cool the Moncton Coliseum as well obviously that rinks no longer but watched tons of hockey games as a kid in the queue it's pretty cool being in now most people think of you probably as Matthew's brother because we see the Islanders a lot but was Nick maybe more of an influence on you because you two share the same position he was a defenseman as well I think honestly I like to take a little bit of both from my brothers obviously Matt's a goalie but me and Nick have a definitely a, a different playing style as far as defense goes he's more in the rush he's more of an offensive defenseman but just been able to chat with him throughout the year he's been watching some of my games we chat and we play defense right it's the same basics and same sort of style so we've kind of been chatting about some plays here and there and and I think with Matt just his mindset and how he goes into the game we kind of just chat about that, so it's kind of cool. I, I kind of play off the of both of them and try and take the aspects of actually playing from Nick and kind of the mindset and going into the games from Matt, so I'm lucky to have that. Of course, I'm sure one of the big experiences in your hockey career thus far is playing at the Canada Games, and you were there with some future Eagles teammates, Connor Trenholm, Matthew McDonald, Davis Cooper, and Eagles goaltending coach Chuck Grant. Tell us about that experience playing in the tournament. Just an amazing couple weeks and just the whole build-up. From being 14 years old, going into the Hockey Nova Scotia program, you're able to connect with those guys all across the board in Nova Scotia. And I get to play with Coop and Matt and and Trenny and obviously Chuck as well. You play against some other guys who are in the league as well. It's great. You already have that relationship that you built up before you got to Cape Breton. And now that we're here, it definitely makes for good chemistry, I guess, here in uh, Cape Breton. It's awesome. I love it. Now, your 15-year-old season is very special because it's your Q draft year. You go to the Canada Games, and as well, you also get to go to the TELUS Cup with the Halifax McDonald's. Mm. Tell us about the prestige of winning your way to that tournament and what that experience was like. Oh, um, I'll never forget my uh, first year in Midget. It's just an unbelievable season. A group of guys that we all still touch base over the summer, and we like to hang out and stuff. Guys that I call my brothers still to this day. Just a really a close team. We kind of got that underdog mentality because there was a few teams ahead of us that were expected to win and go to TELUS but it was an amazing ride just a great organization in general shout out to Cliff and Shyla and the coaches and just everyone we call the Max family and it was an amazing ride and obviously we had uh, Canada Games as well it was an unbelievable year of hockey and wouldn't take anything back from it you get drafted by the Eagles coming out of the Max, and for your 16-year-old season, you decide to play Junior A. Was there a decision process there between going back to Midget or playing Junior A? Did the Eagles have any input in that? That was a decision that I made after I left training camp here in Cape Breton. I know I talked about it with my parents, my agent. Just felt as though it was best for my game, just the way I play, how more physical that it would have been better to be playing against older guys and a faster pace, I think, in junior A. Just the aspect of playing junior hockey and being away from home, I think, would have been the most ideal situation for me. It was tough not going back to Halifax just because I had a great year there before, and it was an amazing group, amazing coaches, but it was kind of the decision that led me in trail. Last little while, we've seen you take a step up in terms of being on the Eagles penalty kill. What does that responsibility mean, and what allows you to be effective killing penalties? 
It's been great, obviously seeing some more ice time with injuries and stuff here in the second half and being able to jump on the penalty kill. It, it means a lot. It's trust from the coaches and stuff. And I think just what I bring to the penalty kill, I think just my game is awareness in front. I have a pretty good active stick to break up passes and I do my best to shot block and as a player, I just want to be a good defensive presence, and I think I can bring that to the penalty kill, and for sure, over the years, we can build on that. Fans will look forward to seeing that improve, and best of luck the rest of the season, Zach. Thanks for this. Thank you. And that was Cape Breton Eagles defenseman Zach Welsh joining us here at the intermission. You're listening to McDonald Auto Hub, Cape Breton Eagles Hockey, 1270 CJCB.